This panel shows us how to get free electricity, and it works. Nuclear energy is perhaps the most powerful energy source we have, and to many it sounds really complicated when in reality it's just a big hot boiler. But this doesn't mean you can just grab a rock and drop it in water to get free energy. The actual process is much more controlled and careful. We have to take rocks from the earth and get them to become incredibly hot while remaining stable. The fissile materials like uranium-235 are really rare. Natural uranium from the ground is mostly U-238 which doesn't split easily. Only about 0.7% of it is useful uranium-235. To use it in a reactor it has to be enriched, meaning they increase the concentration of U-235 from 0.7 to 3 to 5%. This makes it usable for steady power generation. Atoms like U-235 naturally decay over time, but to speed it we hit them with neutrons. This releases heat, radiation and more neutrons which can keep the reaction going. Left alone this could snowball and Controllably. So to control it we can take the enriched uranium pellets within rods, surrounded by water and neutron absorbing materials to slow down the reaction. A nuclear bomb uses uranium enriched to 90% of U-235 or more, packed in a way that causes a chain reaction in microseconds. A power reactor on the other hand uses only 3-5% U-235, arranged so that the geometry and control materials keep things stable. It's designed to release energy slowly over years, not all at once. Each fish event releases about 200 million electron volts of energy. Now that might not sound like much for a single atom, but it would take a Yankee Stadium full of dynamite to equal the energy released by U-235 the size of a baseball. The reactions result in heat that boils water, makes steam, spins turbines and produces electricity. 